Welcome back everybody, and we are actually on the second weekend of home repairs, but I ended up getting a little delete happy with deleting footage off of my computer, and I deleted all of the first weekend of home repairs, which included getting up on scaffolding, sanding, patching holes, cracks, and as you can see right here, I am getting up, I'm getting my mask, and I am looking up at that that vaulted ceiling in the kitchen dining room area because I actually had to patch a very big crack along that ceiling and wall line. In some places it was up to two inches apart because for some reason in this house, the drywall on the wall does not meet the drywall on the ceiling. Don't ask me why, it's a 40 year old house with the original drywall in most of the locations of the house. So unfortunately, we do not have footage of me climbing scaffolding and painting ceilings and doing all of that in these two rooms. So basically, I am going through, I'm getting ready to paint the walls in this kitchen dining room area and then in the TV room as well. And prior to this, the previous weekend, I actually borrowed my mom's scaffolding and I used that to get up and paint the ceiling because I have vaulted ceilings throughout the, the, not the main portion of the house, but in the TV room and in the kitchen dining room back entryway. So I needed the scaffolding to be able to paint the ceiling. So I did paint the ceiling white. It has been several years since the ceiling was painted. So it was time to go ahead and get that ceiling painted. And because I am dealing with lots of cracks in the house and the walls, it's mainly because we had the foundation leveled early in the summer. So it's been several weeks now and it is time to start patching up all of those. And I am nowhere near, I'm not a contractor. I am just <laughs> trying to help my mom on home maintenance. This is her house still. I am a renter, but I nest I don't want my 77 year old mother getting up on scaffolding and on tall ladders to paint all of this stuff when she's already having back problems. So I am just gonna go ahead and do it myself because I am capable of sanding, patching, and painting walls and ceilings as well. The only thing I had to overcome was my heights, my fear of heights, and also dealing with the cats walking in paint. Uh, and they did that. I don't remember. I think it was when I was painting the walls here But as you see I have sanded the walls and I am gonna go through and I didn't quite Actually paint the ceiling over there because the the joint compound was still wet the previous weekend So I've allowed it to actually dry this whole week and now I'm gonna go ahead and along do the painting of the ceiling along the edges and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm using Sharon Williams, uh, forget what it's, it, it's the ceiling paint, <laughs> but it's basically, it's uh, Sharon Williams ceiling paint, white ceiling paint. And then the actual wall paint is also Sharon Williams. And I believe the color is shell white. I believe I do get a clip up close here later. And so you can see what type of paint I am using. So this, these are the first few rooms that I wanted to go ahead and get painted because I did want to borrow the scaffolding from my mom and then it's also because they are the most difficult rooms with the vaulted ceilings because you're having to deal with a very tall ladder to get up there and then extension poles and all of that. So I just wanted to go ahead and get these rooms done because they are the ones that I actually hate the most because of having to climb up on ladders. So let's go ahead and let you listen to some music while I go through and paint and get prepared for everything.
And here I am moving furniture around so that way I can basically just shrink the amount of footage of furniture in the house. So I'm using furniture movers to try to get them underneath the couch so that way I can move it without having to tear apart the sectional. And now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the, the shoe cabinets that I have over there. And those are from Ikea. They are the Hymnes brand. And I don't only just keep shoes in there. It's I actually store other things in there. So only one cabinet actually has shoes in them. But the other one has my drop cloths and some other miscellaneous things. And I think once I get those cleaned out, I am probably going to put blankets in there, extra blankets. And I should have put that bamboo plant outside because later on in the day, I found that bamboo plant on the middle of in the middle of my floor in my bedroom and water had dropped out of the actual holder and the cats had torn apart my bamboo and everything so i have moved the cabinets and i actually went and wet down the behind the cabinet basically so that way i could get in there and of course once i did that there's a whole bunch of holes that need to be filled in so i'm going to go ahead and fill that in and if you see over there by the alarm system control panel, I have some, it looks like a different color paint. Well, it is a different color paint. That is the color that I am going to paint the wall next. So I'm going from a slightly darker beige. It's more of an orangey beige, in my opinion. And I am going to go ahead and change that to more, like I said, a shell white. So it's all just a shade darker than white, but you can, when the light hits it the right way, you can tell it's a little bit different. And I'm on the phone with my mom about something, but a right there along the wall, you see where it looks like something coming out of the wall that is actually a stud and the nail pops and I just at this point didn't want to deal with that so I am going through and putting up more of the spackling and I don't know if I was still talking to my mom at this point but I am just trying to fill in the holes and get that ready so that way I can sand it and then come through and paint this wall here shortly. We're not okay I look into your eyes and see you fade away But we're not the same It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue And this really is the most difficult part of painting. It is dealing with this, this ladder. And I do have an extra brace on the top of the ladder. So that way it actually pulls it away from the wall just a little bit. And it also stabilizes the top of the ladder. So I'm not having to like balance. I'm still having to balance. But it, it it's a little bit more secure than just having the straight ladder up there. And I actually am pulling the paint down a little bit from the wall because I will be hitting all of this with a roller on an extension pole. And there you saw me trying to test where, how high it was because I really wanted to get off this the tall ladder because I really don't like heights. So I am, I tested to see how far I could reach and I still needed to bring the ladder down just a little bit more and get down in that little corner down by the fireplace and bring it down to where I could possibly reach it a little bit better. And I am going to go ahead and readjust everything. And I have a wet cloth in my hair just so when I'm on that tall ladder, it is easy enough. It's easy for me to grab that. So that way, if I get paint anywhere, I can actually wipe the paint off quickly and then I can reattach it to my hair instead of having a lot of things on my hand trying to climb up that ladder. It's hard enough with the bucket and the brush to get up there. So I'm readjusting everything and getting prepared to go on the other side of the wall. I don't know if you can see it up there, but the 
ducting for the vent up there, it's blocked a little bit. And I just got done crawling through the attic, literally hanging from the rafters. Nearly fell through the drywall of the ceiling in my bedroom or in the office. I trying to fix that. Um, yeah, I can't. Whoever we had do the duct work when we had them replace the duct work, um, they tightened the the hole when they were trying to like seal it around the thing. I don't. I'm not a. Const I'm not in construction. I don't know technical terms. But basically it's too tight for me to even try to adjust. I tried to like pull the ductwork away a little bit. I, not like away from the connection, but just kind of like down the line, tried to like pull it away so it wasn't like a major sharp turn into there. Didn't work, but I'm exhausted and I haven't painted very much. I, uh, at least got along that by the fireplace and up around there and partially down here so I will move the ladder over there but I got distracted by taking the Vic, Vic cover off but I am halfway through on this crack right here and I've gone all the way pretty much down this way where I can reach this part of it I am trying to get the tall ladder stuff done first because I don't like heights. Insulation. I don't like heights, so the fact that I am climbing up on a ladder, it's... And then I just went climbing through the attic, which is just absolutely disgusting, and I'm like, ugh. Ugh. But yeah, the temperature in the attic was about the same as the house, so uh, I, I feel absolutely disgusting. Better say something that will change my mind. Gotta give me something. I'm not blind So, change of plans. I was wanting to do the other side, but then my battery was dying and I needed to transfer stuff off this card. So, I went ahead and just pulled out the roller and started rolling the paint on. I don't know if we can get it on this wall and up there. So, I don't know <laughs> if it's any good. I may have to do a second coat, which I really didn't want to do. Uh, it doesn't look as splotchy, but since we're going from beige, more of a like orangey beige, uh, to 
think the color I got is shell white. I didn't think I got shell white, but uh, it is more of a white color. And I'm trying to figure out the undertones. They put, I think they said magenta. What colors did they add? Hold on, I'm going to... Um, it looks like magenta and deep gold. But this is, let's see. So that's the label. I know it's Sharon Williams, Emerald. And I got this one and it's in the matte. I got this one mainly because of the washability. Flat paint, it's hard to wash the flat paint. <laughs> Basically, it kind of rubs off. And I am, I wanted to be able to wash it and have more of a flat consistency and trying to get a better view of that, but it's a hard angle to get and keep me in the picture. But I am, I need to clean the air vent thing and I, my arms are tired, let's just say. <sighs> <laughs> Y no me importa dónde vamos, siempre estamos encendidos. Baby, siempre te buscaré. Puede que sea ciega, pero yo tengo fe. Cuando te agarra el cuerpo sin conocerte. Te prendo la vela, 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 vela. Eh. Iluminamos nuestras vidas como velas, velas. Eh. Aunque se vaya el sol, cuando se acabe el alcohol, siempre, siempre te buscaré, siempre, siempre. Será caliente, oscuridad cambia el ambiente. Baby, yo te prendo la vela. Mi amor, te seguiré en la noche. Has brillado tu luz y volveré. Baby, yo te prendo la vela. Yo te prendo la vela, 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 vela. Iluminamos nuestras vidas. For the new you, like I'm old news in your review mirror. 
and several hours I think went by or the something happened. I got on the phone with my mom and while I was on the phone with her I went ahead and finished out around all the trim work and now I'm going to start on the rolling and as you can see I have the extension pole fully extended to get up there so that way I am not having to balance on a ladder anymore to get up there and honestly I did not do a very good job. I missed some spots that I'll go back and hit it with a brush whenever I get around to working on the other rooms but for now we're going to go ahead and do this and I had to stop because my cats were acting up at this point because you know I haven't been able to spend any time with them but I am going to go ahead and continue and I I'm trying to paint as best as I can, but it's very hard when you're on the ground, you can't get much uh, leverage on the pole to be able to actually put pressure on there. So I may actually like try to repaint those sections of the wall, so the two that are part of the vaulted ceiling. But once I moved over to the other wall, I was pretty much on a ladder and I, or on the ground so I could actually see what was going on. And that wall that has the the woodwork on it the I don't know why they did this in the 70s but they did and we've never gone back and tried to sand off the the texture on the wall but the texture is the same texture that I have on the roof where it's like little spiky things and I really should have changed out the type of roller I have on there so that way it was for like the thicker the textured walls to get in there but I was just on a roll and didn't <laughs> no pun intended, uh, on a roll and just wanted to go ahead and get this done. I was exhausted at this point after crawling around in the attic for a good probably hour that I was up there and then up on the ladders. I just wanted to get done and get in a bath because my calves were just killing me from being balancing on those ladders all day. So I'm just working through this as quickly as possible and trying to not get in any issues. I did have cats walk through the paint. I don't know if it was this day or the next day that I went and painted the rest of the walls and mainly I did the back wall and in the kitchen dining room area and during this entire thing I've been watching Chuck the season one. It's one of my favorite TV series of all time and I didn't actually watch it when it was on air but after it went on air, it's, I mean, it's just absolutely fa ridiculous and fantastic. I love the co-workers at the Buy More, but um, that is what I have blocked out right now. It is that I'm watching Chuck and I did watch, I think between the two days, I watched seven or eight episodes of season one. So now we're just going to continue on and we'll start up with day two here shortly. now moved on to day two and on this wall I'm using this little tool instead of the paintbrush and this tool actually makes edging a whole lot easier because it has little rollers on one edge that you just roll along like the ceiling like I'm doing that's partly why I brought the ceiling paint down 
a, a little bit down the wall so that way it would basically cover the corner that is right there since I don't have any crown molding or any of that around the house and I use the same thing around the basically the corners around the window boxes and everything because it just made it a whole lot easier it is like a little felt pad with little bristles and it just it made doing all of this part easy and then once I was done with this wall I came back with the roller and rolled out the paint and then I moved on into the kitchen dining area and worked on that big tall wall that runs along that side over there and by the kitchen as well. So that will be day two and then I actually after I was done painting I went out to Target and grocery shopping because this was the weekend before Thanksgiving and it was I was trying to get everything done as quickly as possible because I wanted to be able to have it be able to clean the house later today later that on this day so that way I could clean the house and get it ready for my mom and my sister who were coming to Houston to visit me for at least one day one night two days <laughs> one night and two days for Thanksgiving so we were able to celebrate and have a wonderful Thanksgiving and no dogs or cats were maimed in the process of uh, my sister visiting her dog Samson came to visit as well and poor thing uh, almost attacked some of the outside cats when that you know they were trying to be come back into their yard and you know the dog was out there but poor Samson unfortunately had to spend a lot of the time in my the room that my sister was staying in and um, I felt bad for him so here is a good clip of the you kind of see the rollers and everything and I will slow it down so that way you can see it a little bit better
Sleep with the doors and here shortly I will be going around the door frame and in some of the the corners and using a regular little paintbrush that is used for painting wa watercolors or something like that and getting a little bit closer to the edge because the other tools that I had just couldn't get quite there so I could still see some of the caulk work or the joint compound so that is what I'm going to do with this little paintbrush and this will be the end of this video for now so I hope everybody enjoyed this and I will be back next week with another video I'm not quite sure what it's going to be but I am slowly working around through the rest of the house and I will be back I hope everybody enjoyed this please subscribe if you are not subscribed already and just make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a video. Thank you, everybody, and goodbye.